A dangerous water rescue all caught on body camera. You're watching an Austin police officer looking for a man trapped in rising flood water. When rain came pouring down last night, Austin police were called to North Bluff Drive in South Austin. And that man who is believed to be homeless was rescued and a homeless camp in that creek was evacuated. As KXN Jujin Cho explains, this is highlighting the dangers of having homeless encampments in flood prone areas. A sudden drop, submerging the officer in neck deep water. But that didn't stop this Austin police officer from sticking to this harrowing rescue. He said, I think he's washed away. I'm going to give you my gear and I'm going to go after him. Commander Brian Jones says that's bravery. He says the officers were able to rescue the man. They were basically people living in tents. I uh, don't have an exact number on that, but it was a handful of tents, a handful of people. Just last week, Austin City Council voted to clarify the city's homeless camping ordinance. What ended up passing did not include any specific language about riverbeds or creek beds like here. City Council Member Ann Kitchen told us last week that's why she voted against it. While we hope that the uh, police will be able to enforce in those areas. It's much clearer, much easier for everybody involved if you clarify it in the law. Back in May, before Austin started talking about camping rules, a similar situation turned deadly. A homeless man was swept away by the raging waters of Shoal Creek downtown. APD emphasizes flood prone areas are dangerous, meaning you cannot camp there. We cannot let them camp near areas that are prone to flooding. Uh, we all know living in central Texas, when it starts to rain and rain heavily, uh, creek beds can rise, low water crossings spring up all over the place. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. The responding officers weren't hurt. The city's watershed protection department says it'll renew a contract later this year to clean and renew, remove rather camps in flood prone areas. They said they don't have a way to warn everyone that camping in dangerous areas uh, is dangerous. I should say that they didn't have a way to warn them about the dangers of camping in those areas uh, before severe weather events, but they try to reach out in advance if they do expect a high risk. The Austin Fire Department says that was the only true rescue they had last night. They say the others were stalled cars that didn't involve any people.